Hello friends, it's Kristen Bebas from A Walk in the Chalk and today I'm going to share with you a short video on how to insert clickable text boxes into Google Slides. If you find value in this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, let's go get started. For those of you who need just a quick demonstration and then be on your way, that's what I'll do first. For those who need a little more step-by-step -step and some application ideas of how you would use this, stick around. So I've opened up a new Google slide. I just gave it a quick title and I wanna get rid of these text boxes. So I just highlight and delete those and I'm gonna go down to the master slide. So go to slide and edit theme. And I want a um, blank slide, so I'm also going to just clear everything off of this slide, clicking and deleting. And I want to put my text boxes here. So we're going to go to Insert, Placeholder, Body Text Placeholder. And we're going to click on the slide, and you will get this. Now you're going to set your font to how you want it to look over on your main slides. So if you can set the um, font to, you could do a Century Gothic, set the font size if you want it larger or smaller, uh, set the font color, let's do blue, and then you can set the alignment if you want it centered or left or right, whatever you need it to be. So now I have my text box here, and if I wanted to make multiple, I could do that as well. Uh, so I could click copy and paste, and I could move them wherever I needed them. So let's go and see what it looks like out on the main slide. I'm gonna click over here, and there are my two clickable text boxes. Students just click and they start typing. They know exactly where to go to add their text. And so that was a quick demonstration. If you have seen enough and you wanna go try this on your own, go for it. Let me show you some ways that you can use this in educational resources. So let's look at some ways that you can apply this. I went ahead and opened up a new Google slide and I'm going to make it um, blank. And the next thing I wanna do is I want to add a graphic organizer to this picture. So I'm gonna turn this Google slide into a, uh, the same size as a piece of paper. So let's go to file and page setup. And I believe my piece of paper is 11 by eight and a half. Apply. So this is the size of a piece of paper and now I'm going to insert an image and I wanna to go to my Google Drive. And let's see, if I wanna to go to my drive, I can find my graphic organizers here and I can choose the one I want. Now I've already decided that I'm going to choose uh, this fairy tale one. So I clicked on that and inserted. And so I just size it to match the size of my Google slide. And I don't want students to be able to drag it or accidentally delete it. So I need to put it down below on the master slide. I'm gonna cut this, go to slide, edit theme. I want a blank slide to work with. So I'm gonna delete all that. And I'm going to insert my um, graphic organizer. Now I wanna add some text boxes. So I'm going to go to insert, placeholder, body text placeholder, and I'm gonna put one right here in the center for plot. And I'm going to change the font. 22 might be a little bit big. You can play around with what works and what doesn't work. Let's do black as the text color. And I do want it aligned left. So now I'm just gonna copy and paste and I can just move and resize this to fit in this section of my graphic organizer. You know, the thing I love about graphic organizers is they have a lot of blank space for students to work in. So I'm just gonna put a box in each of these blank spaces for students to type and we'll do that. And you could change the color. There's a lot of black and white going on here. So let's go ahead and highlight all of these and let's just make the color um, blue. So let's go to text color and we'll change the color to blue. That might make it a little interesting. So let's come out to our graphic organizer and this is what it looks like. The students can type here 
and so on. You get the idea. So now the graphic organizer is not movable. Um, the only thing that they can do is click on the text boxes and text. So let's do one more. I'm going to um, insert a blank slide over here. And now I want to put another graphic organizer or something else. Let's see what we can put in there. Uh, so I'm going to choose this graphic organizer next. Because my slides are um, horizontal, then my graphic organizer needs to be horizontal. If I want to use one that is, when I say horizontal, I mean landscape. If I want to use one that is um, vertical or portrait, then I would need to start a new slide and set the page set up to that. So I have my graphic organizer here. I see that it has lines in it. So let me show you how this would work. I'm gonna click on this, cut, and I'm gonna go down to the master slide, edit theme. I'm gonna make another new blank slide here just by clearing that off. Click paste, and there's my graphic organizer. So remember, we go to insert, placeholder, body text placeholder, and I'm going to put one large um, text box over here. And this time I want to fill it with the color white so that those lines are not in the way. So it's filled and now I can go ahead and work on my um, font style. Let's do quicksand this time. 22 looks pretty good. And we're gonna do black. And then I can just simply copy this text box and paste it, here we go, and move it right over there. And so now you have two um, text boxes. Let's make sure they look even. Yep, they sure do. And now we can go out to our main slide over here. You'll see that the slide is blank. But if we go down to slide and apply layout, we'll find our graphic organizer here, click on it, and there it is. So here are our clickable text boxes. The lines are covered up and students know exactly where to type their responses. Anyway, that's how you make clickable text boxes in Google Slides. I hope you found this video helpful and feel confident at inserting clickable text boxes into your resources. Don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe, and you can also find me on Instagram at a walk in the chalk. Take care.